Sneak, asshole. Yeah, here he comes, riding in. <laughs> I think we're doing uh, massive traps uh, workout stuff, right? Well, let's, uh, let's first address uh, what the traps are responsible for. I think uh, almost everybody does, I feel like, the same standard trap exercise. Dumbbell I, shrugs. I see either dumbbell shrugs or the machine ones that simulate basically yeah. the same thing in the neutral grip where they shrug or the barbell, barbell shrug. shrug. It's all shrugs, yeah. Right, and there's, uh, the traps are responsible uh, for more than just that, and there's lots of different movements that we can do, and I've seen greater benefits through doing other exercises. Yeah, the trapezius muscles are responsible for uh, a few different things, of course, for elevating the scapula and rotating them out, um, for retracting the scapula, and there's even a little bit of activation when you're depressing the scapula. So those are all the functions of the trapezius muscles. What we wanna do today is we wanna show you a well, few movements that you've probably around. never seen before. Turn around for a second so, you can, so people understand oh, yeah. what that looks like. Yeah. So your, your traps run all the way down here like a, like a triangle. So, you know, part of building these great traps, too, is also building the thickness of it. You've seen sometimes you see these guys that have these great big traps here, but then their back's all flat here with that definition. So you want the thickness of the traps and you want traps up here. So targeting it from different areas is super important. And muscles tend to develop best when you train them in their full capacity. And so we don't want to ignore all the functions of the trapezius muscle. So today we're gonna to show you some movements that you're probably, you've never seen before. Yeah, some different variations, different right. angles that we can kind of choose from for this kind of, seems basic exercise. Exactly, but. so I'm gonna show you a shrug variation. I know we said everybody does shrugs, but I wanna show you a shrug variation it was actually popularized way back in the day by Lee Haney. This was uh, the, uh, he was Mr. Olympia after uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, I believe, one of the winningest Mr. Olympias. One of his favorite exercises, so. Mm. I'm gonna be grabbing a barbell for this and we're gonna do this behind the back and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it off the rack and I'm gonna walk forward. Now because the bar is behind me versus in front of me, it's forcing me to retract right, so my shoulder blades a little bit. So now already just having to retract and pull back, we're already getting them traps engaged already. That's it, so nice tall posture, it has to clear my glutes, come up, squeeze, and come right back down with that retracted posture. You'll notice a much, much harder squeeze with this movement behind the back than in front of the body. Now, uh, word of note and caution, you gotta go much lighter with these than you would when the barbell is in front of you. So the movement, again, is here. Nice tall posture, squeeze the shoulders back. You're getting some of that mid trap to try and stabilize your shoulders in that back position, but then you're coming up and you're getting that hard squeeze at the top, and I can really feel that even with a few reps. Well, on that note, with the lighter weight, I think that's an important to note with this exercise. I think uh, a lot of times you see guys stacking on the four or five plates and they're doing the, you see yeah. more of the head, yeah. the head moving chicken neck yeah. more than, than the actual traps. Yeah, the traps don't do this. You still want to take those traps through its fullest range of motion to get the max benefits for growth, so keep that in mind. Exactly. Uh, now we're gonna target more uh, the mid trap, so, we're gonna sit, and you've seen, I don't know if you guys have seen people do this before, but they, some people will target the traps by doing like a pec deck machine, where they sit like this, and they do a, like a reverse fly to try and target their rear delts and their traps. There's a, this is a similar variation, only we're gonna use the dumbbells, and because of gravity, we're going to fold our posture over. Now, when you do this, the biggest mistake I see most people do is they just fold their body over and they're in this rounded position. Before I do that, I wanna elongate the spine, get myself in a good neutral spine, and then I wanna fold my body over. So I'm keeping that good core integrity, spine's nice and stiff and rigid, and then I'm gonna fold the body over, I'm gonna flare the elbows out, and then I'm gonna come back. And, and you're I'm, gonna notice that when he does this, he's also, I mean, he's trying to hit those mid traps, he's getting scapula retraction here. So here's my fingers, my fingers are on his shoulder blades, mm -hmm. and they're coming together at the top. So he's not isolating the rear delts like he would if he was doing a rear delt exercise, he's actually trying to squeeze that mid-back area, and that'll give you that nice well, thickness to that. That's a good point. So we've done the rear delt fly before, and this movement looks very similar. And this is how you can change an exercise just a little bit by just barely changing the mechanics. When you do a rear delt fly, and we're targeting the rear delts, a very small muscle, we're going to fly out. And, and, again, and notice how he's got minimal retraction of the scapula when he does that. And now when I'm trying to get the traps, I actually want to come back. So I'm coming back, squeezing the traps. Now I'm gonna target more of my traps versus my rear delts. Now both muscles are engaged in both of those exercises, but that's how you could just take a slight little difference in mechanics to target a different part or a different muscle. You get more muscle. engagement that way Absolutely. Where, you, where you want. So 
From there, we're gonna kind of take you into more of an overhead position. So I'm gonna go ahead and elevate and, and retract and depress uh, from an overhead position. So I'm gonna take the bar and I'm gonna bring it up over my head. And then I'm, first what I'm gonna do is set the shoulders. So I'm setting the shoulders. A lot of times people will call this like packing the shoulders, like I'm really packed, but I wanna keep it like so just- dropped. So they're dropped down and I'm able to stabilize this and control the weight. And then from there, elevation. Now I love this because- Depression. It doesn't take very much weight. In fact, Justin's got a good 10 kilograms on each side right now, and you could probably do this with just the bar to feel this exercise. This is a gnarly, time. gnarly movement. And it's because we're just not used to doing that. A lot of people have a hard time just stabilizing weight, which again, this is why this is a great movement. Just practicing stabilizing weight above your head requires the traps to have to engage. Now think about how work. that applies to an overhead press and what kind of control and stabilization you get while it, it, it's a great combination to kind of add in to, right. to build up that strength. Great carryover into those. Now, a couple keys with that. Lock the arms out overhead. We don't want to get this going on. You don't need so your arms, elbows to bend, yeah. Arms are totally locked. And when you go ahead, uh, if you can extend your arms above your head, and if we can look at your back here, Justin, when he does that, what happens to the shoulder blades is they rotate out. Go ahead and bring this arm down as if it were on your, at your side now, okay? Now the scapula rotates in a little bit. Now, when he's shrugging from this position, he's shrugging with the scapula in this position. When he shrugs with his arm overhead, the scapula has to rotate out. So it's a different position for those upper trapezius muscles. So although he's shrugging with his hands above his head like he would with his arms at his side, it's actually working the trapezius from a different angle. So these are vastly different from your traditional uh, shrugs. That's why we include yeah. that one in this particular Absolutely. video. Uh, check this out. There's a new video posted every single day. So subscribe to this channel. Also, we have 30 days of coaching. It's available for free. It's at mindpumpmedia.com.